Disney, Satan, Baal, the gods, the sign of the children, and the end times. What is happening to our children? They're the most confused, spiritually empty, damaged generation in modern times. They suffer from more mental illness than any other generation. They're more likely to harm themselves, to be addicted, to commit suicide. They are the most confused generation as to what they even are, male or female. And they're the most separated generation from the ways of God. What's happening? This is Jonathan Kahn. One of the signs of a nation under the judgment of God has to do with its children. Israel offered up its own children as sacrifices and was judged for it, was destroyed for it. What's happening to the children of America is because what we did to them. A nation or civilization that turns away from God is gonna end up hurting, harming its young, its most innocent. What is now happening to the Walt Disney Corporation is a sign of all these things. Here, the foremost provider of children's entertainment has been noticeably darkening. And what's happening to them is accelerating. I'm gonna show you the latest depths that they've just descended to, something unthinkable even a few years ago. One of the common features of pagan civilization concerns children. For much of human history, living in a pagan culture wasn't safe for a child. Without God, children become endangered. They were killed in the womb. They were killed at birth. They were offered up as sacrifices to the gods. They were used by adults as sex objects, sex slaves. They were mutilated. And it's all happening again. In the return of the gods, I open up the mystery in which the gods of the pagan world, the spirits of ancient times have returned to the modern world and to America. Because when a nation or civilization that has known God turns away from God, it opens itself up to the spirits and to repossession. In the case of America, it opens itself up to the process of paganization, in which a Christian culture is morphed into a pagan one. In the book, I reveal the dark trinity, three specific gods or spirits, all of which are mentioned in the Bible, and all of which were instrumental in Israel's destruction when it turned away from God. In the book, they're called the Possessor, the Enchantress, and the Destroyer. Each one of them waged war against children. The Possessor had them sacrificed. The Enchantress sexualized them, confused them, altered their genders, and the Destroyer caused them to be burned. In the book, I show how each of these entities of the Dark Trinity have returned to America and the Western world. It's no accident that as we turned away from God, we returned to the practice of child sacrifice, not thousands of children as in the case of ancient Israel, but tens of millions of children. We're waging war against them, the most innocent, not only against the dead, but the living. We're confusing them, we're indoctrinating them, we're sexualizing them, we're altering them, we're even physically damaging them. And now we're moving to the next taboo and the next practice of paganism, pedophilia, adults having sex with children. It was said we never go there, but once you turn away from God, there are no more guardrails. It's only a matter of time before the car goes off the cliff. And so it's no accident that we're now hearing the first voices calling for the normalization of pedophilia, adults with children. And now the luxury fashion house of Balenciaga posted ads of little children holding teddy bears dressed in sadomasochistic gear, bondage gear. In some of them, the children are posed on beds. In one, there's a childlike drawing of the devil. Notice also the dragons on the walls. In another is a book that just happens to be left out there. It's the book of a quote artist with pictures inside of children linked to blood and dismembered limbs and fire and Satan. It's no accident. And note in one of the pictures next to the name Balenciaga is a roll of letters, A-L-E-N, as in Balen, Balenciaga, except the photo highlights an added A, two A's, which would make it Baal and Chiaga or Baal, Baal. That's one of the ancient principalities that required the sacrifice of children, and which I reveal in the book has returned to the world and to America. Which brings us to Disney, once hailed as the producer of family-friendly, child-friendly content. Something dark has come upon that company. Something has possessed it. Recently, Disney was caught privately confessing that their goal was to queer American children, and they've been seeking to do so. 
In its last few, quote, child-oriented motion pictures animated, it pushed homosexuality on children, and they have bombed at the box office. But that's not stopped Disney. Disney has also produced a children's cartoon series, The Owl House, about a girl learning how to be a witch. And darker, another children's show by Disney called, are you ready, Little Demon. It's about Satan impregnating a woman and her antichrist daughter. It is said that the show normalizes Satanism and pedophilia. You don't think our culture can in time embrace things like pedophilia and incest? Think again. It wasn't long ago that if you told somebody that one day American children's comic books would feature Superman in sexual relations with another man, they never would have believed you. This is how it starts with suggestions, hints, seeds of darkness, and then they blossom. This is a sign of a sick civilization, a depraved culture, and one that is under judgment. I've warned about this since The Harbinger. And now, as if to take off the mask completely, Disney has produced a holiday special this year in which the children are to hold up signs saying, we love you, Santa. But instead, they have the children holding up signs that say, we love you, Satan. And it's supposed to be funny, not funny, but revealing. Merry Christmas from Disney. The Bible says that in the last days, there will be a departing from the faith with people giving heed to seducing spirits. The spirits are here, the gods are back, and they're after your children. Because if they can get the children, they've got the nation and the future and the end times. In the days ahead, I'm gonna open up more of the mystery of what's happening all around us and why. And the ancient entities that have returned, you're gonna understand what's happening with a new and crystal clarity. If you're a parent, guard and protect your child. It's your responsibility before the Lord. If you don't, you become guilty. And if you're one who is into any of these darknesses, get out of them before they destroy you. God's arms are open and will receive you. And for you, child of God, pray as never before for the children, for the young, for the future of America and the nations. Pray for revival, for the spirit of God is more powerful than the spirits of this world. And the only hope America has is revival. I'll see you soon. To make sure you don't miss the next message, press subscribe. This is Jonathan Kahn saying, stay strong in the Lord, even stronger. Till next time, shalom.